um, I think what they need to do is, is keep their hands off, which is treat it like, I mean, we didn't, we didn't need to do a whole lot with print, right? Print was adopted pretty quickly um, from the Gutenberg Bible and has worked pretty well. Um, I think radio, radio was developed pretty much without government, but you know. So I think the thing is, it's strong enough to do it on its own, and we don't need uh, a lot of restrictions and a lot of uh, government impositions, and we don't need a lot, of, a lot of safety mechanisms. I think the marketplace covers that. I like age limits and age restrictions, but other than that, I feel like the best thing is let the marketplace, let the demand pull it along. Oh, that's an easy one, because that's my secret agenda. Okay, my secret agenda is that shared experiences are bonding experiences. So people in virtual worlds, I think the kids growing up um, who have these experiences in um, spaces that are not tied to geography form bonds with people, right? They go out and hunt their dragons, or they share their taste in music, or whatever they do. And the, as they grow up and they become policymakers and they hold positions of power, it is so much less likely that they will be able to look and say, us and them, right? Because maybe they once had an experience with somebody in Japan. Maybe they, you know, when we get broadband across the world, there'll be people in Indonesia that they're connected with. So it's that much less likely that they will be able to say, this is an us and that's a them, and so we can drop bombs on them or we can do anything. So my secret agenda is like world peace comes from the interconnectivity of, of people growing up with this. So just like, um, remember pen pals and, and spending a year overseas, right? Those, these international um, communications, and, and that's, that's what I think this is going to do big time. Um, you know, propaganda is a fear uh, for me. Um, I am, tend to be pretty optimistic about people, and I believe that um, as funny as the avatar, the sense of anonymity is when using avatars, uh, that it's pretty quick and pretty easy for people, especially, again, this generation growing up with this, to get to the person underneath. So um, I think that once you get to the person-to-person -person connection, um, I am I'm always hopeful that when people connect openly, that it's a more positive experience. So. Um, my fear is not coming from this space. <laughs> my, I do have fears for the future, but it's not coming from people who are connected in this hive mind mentality. You were very good. Oh, thank you. Well, 10 years from now, you've got, you've got one level of baby boomers who will be gone, right? So you're 10 years on with people who understand this intuitively, just, um, um, they understand the way of thinking in a hive mind with, with a brain with an external hard drive. They've grown up with Google. So technologically, I think pervasive computing, the fact that your phone and your watch and God knows your shoes and all those things will be, you will have the resources of the history of mankind you know, that you can touch at any moment. So that's what I think, the pervasive computing that you, that you have with your body. Well, that's really funny because, um, you know, I, I talked to my mother, who is 79, and, you know, my mother who doesn't want to deal with anything with a button, right? But she's taken to TiVo like it was made for her, and it's fairly complex. I, I don't quite have it down. But what I would say is not that, not that there'll be one specific thing to change your life, like there'll be an amazing kind of camera, but that if there is some need that they have in their everyday life, it is very likely that there is somebody working on a technology to, to automate that and make that easier. So, um, so something like my mom having to deal with recording things or the fact that she would have to go out to see a movie or Netflix. I mean, what I would tell my mom is, if you're around long enough, Netflix will be gone because you'll be just downloading the stuff digitally from your TiVo. So that's what I would say. I would say Pick something that you're having to do automated over and over and somebody's working on making that easier for you.